What's up OGs? Welcome back to OG Fitness and in today's video I want to talk about how to keep your knees safe when exercising or when you know practicing martial arts. So this might be new to some of you and this might be old news. You might already know this but I think it's something that's important to reiterate and the reason for that is because I've started working as a personal trainer. Um, last time I might have mentioned that uh, you know, maybe a month or two ago, I was actually, uh, you know, studying, getting certified to become a personal trainer. So now I'm certified and mind you, I still haven't gotten that damn certificate in the mail, but whatever, I was able to sell myself anyway, get the job. So I work at two different gyms now. And so I work as a personal trainer and holy smokes, guys, there's something I see that I believe that I want to talk about in this video and it's how to keep your knees safe. Now beyond, uh, oh that's my dog by the way, Hero, he'll, he'll be in and out once in a while just to check in, make sure I'm not saying anything crazy. <laughs> so okay, back to what I was saying. Um, so beyond like actually working your joints, you know, in high, in high reps for a period of time to build up endurance and to strengthen your, um, your ligaments and tendons, right? Beyond that, well, not beyond that, but beside that, right? One way to keep your, your, your knees safe, and this is because I see so many people doing it wrong, and even in the gym, and then even among my clients, we have to evaluate them before we make them a program. So when we evaluate them, we put them in certain positions like lunging, squatting, uh, uh, deadlifting and most of the times I, I even do this shit without weights, right? Uh, because if they're doing it wrong and you give them weights, they can, you know, nah, they could, it could fuck them up even more. So here's the thing. When your knees bend, right? Whether you're lunging or squatting, oh, I'm just putting my leg up here for comfort. It's not because I was going to show you guys anything. Uh, your knees, okay, do, they can't pass your toes, okay? If your knees are going passing over your toes, okay, you're, you're, there's a lot of shearing there, okay? So that's not good. And shearing will eventually wear out your knee. And you guys gotta remember that in anything you do, so whether you're squatting, you're doing a, a squat, okay, what you have to do is instead of standing, and this is what most people do, they stand in front of the mirror when they're doing the exercise. Now, if your form is perfect and you just want to, you know, look at yourself or whatever, that's fine, okay? Or look at, you know, all the chicks and, you know, in, 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 in the reflection. You could use the mirror for that. But if you want to check your form, you should actually turn sideways. So you're more like this. So then you do your squat or your lunge. And then from there, you could turn around, right? Well, and then look at the mirror and look at your form. So now if your knee is passing your toes, Okay, your form is bad. So you just have to keep that in mind. So in anything you do, you don't want your knees to ever pass your toes. If they're passing your toes, you're doing something wrong. You're probably not hinging at the hip. You're not pushing your butt back enough. Okay, or if you're doing a lunge, most likely what it is is that your back leg isn't far enough. Your legs are too close together. You're, you know, you gotta, you gotta spread them out. So you gotta, um, the back leg, you push it back further, right? So that when you bend your knee, the one that's forward, okay, it's 90, it gets to a 90 degree angle and your knee doesn't pass. But if the back leg is too close to the front leg, okay, your knee's gonna pass. That's in the lunge position, all right? And even when you're going upstairs, right, you don't want your knees to pass your toes because if they pass your toes, you're creating shearing force. Shearing force is, let's say this is your knee, you're bending it like this. But if your knee is passing your toes, so if this part here was my knee, and let's say my, you see uh, this, this part here is, uh, okay, I know you guys have a hard time seeing it, but this was my toes. If it goes like this, you see, I'm passing my toes. If my toes was this, uh, this armrest right here, this uh, beige armrest. So if it's passing it, I'm screwed. So you wanna keep this like this. So you see that, uh, you see this thing right here? Okay, if that was my toes, this is my knee, and I'm bending it here 90 degrees, that's how I want it. Now, if I'm going like this, you see all the shearing force here. Shearing force is when your bone is going, one surface is going in that direction, 
and the other surface is going in that direction. So that's shearing force. That's bad for your knees. So if you're like this at a 90 degree angle, right, you're, you're all good to go. But if you're like this, you see how my knee here is passing my toes. There you go, it's bad. So I see so much of that in the gym and that's why I want to make this video and you know, share that with you guys. So let me know what else you guys think is that, that you've seen in the gym uh, or just in everyday life that people do that are fucked up for their knees, right? I think this is probably the number one thing and there's also walking duck feet too, but that's for another video. Like, let's not get into, you know, too much, too much uh, details here. But I think, I think in my opinion, that's, if you could just keep that in mind, all right, you'll be, uh, you'll be much, much better off, um, you know, for, for the longevity and the health of your knees. So anything you do, you want to, you want to keep that, uh, keep it clean. Don't pass your toes, uh, sorry, sorry, don't pass your knees over your toes. So let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys think, uh, you know, if there's any other things that you think might be worse for your knees than that, right? And yeah, man, that's it. So like, comment, subscribe, and of course, share this video. If, uh, if you wanna help out the channel, sharing is caring and liking and, and you know, all the engagement I get from you guys, it's, it's a great thing, man. So let's keep this channel going, growing. And then eventually I'll have something to sell to you guys. But honestly, I have no idea what, and I just don't want to sell something that, uh, you know, it's not about just making money in my opinion in life, like add value first and we'll see if there's actually something worth selling at one point that would actually help people then sure. But until then we're just going to talk and discuss and, uh, you know, have a community where we could share ideas and bounce things off each other. And then so we could all improve. So OG, once again, for older guys, also for original gangster. And even if you're young, who gives a shit? If you're part of the community and you have OG knowledge, then you're an OG. All right. Love you guys. See you guys in the next one. Peace.